Alright guys, here's going to be testing of the new uh, red diodes that I got in. It's going to be the power and the power meter. And over here you'll see the current and the voltage on the diode. These are 650, 660 nanometer diodes. At 1.2 amps, we're getting 700 or 650 milliwatts. I'm just gonna wait until the temperature adjusts. due to because I have it in a small uh, copper C-mount block. I'm running a tech underneath it. So I'm just going to bring the diode back up to room temp. Which is right here. Okay, so we can continue. All right, so we're at 2.2 amps, and we're getting 1.8 watts. We are at 3 amps, and we're at 2.7 watts. We're at four watt, four amps, and right under four watts. We broke four watts, 4.15 watts. And that's the highest my, uh, this power supply goes up to. Okay, I'm not gonna adjust the temp, so you will start seeing uh, power drops slowly once the temperature starts rising it's holding it pretty stable around room temp but you can see we're at 4.6 amps 2.5 volts going to the diode and we are putting out over 4 watts of 650 slash 660 nanometer red um, I would push it further but that's the top end of my power supply um, I'll have to switch over to my 20 amp power supply but that does not read uh, it's a little jumpy so I'm kind of scared to use it with a diode so, there you, go. you can see now it's dropping this diode block is getting warm But uh, pretty much, there you go, over 4 watts of power out of these 660 C mounts. Alright, new diodes on the block. <laughs> Thanks guys.